If you log into your Concord account on a smartphone, this is the experience you should expect to see. You'll notice that there are many similarities between how it appears on the mobile device and on the computer, but there are also some differences that we'll walk through together now. It's also important to note that you can only have one instance of the account open at one time. So, for example, as soon as you log into your Concord account on your smartphone, it will have logged you off of your account on your computer or tablet. Because it's the same account, you can't be logged into the same account on multiple devices simultaneously. And anything you do in your account, whether it's on your computer, your smartphone, or your tablet, whether it's searching or creating lists, will all be saved in your account and can be accessed on any of your devices. So you'll notice right away that there are five tabs along the bottom. And I'm doing this demo on a computer, so where you see my mouse click is where you would be able to tap with your finger on your smartphone. So right away you can tap in the search box and enter your search term. You can click search on your keyboard of your smartphone or tap the magnifying glass in order to populate the search results. You have the options to use case sensitive or stemming in your search options. You also have the ability to add your search to your list of favorites by tapping the heart icon here, which will open up your list of favorite searches. Tapping on favorites minimizes that list. Similarly, tapping on recents will expand your list of recent searches. And these are all of your recent searches within your account, whether you are on your computer, your tablet, or your smartphone. Tapping on recent will minimize that menu. Tapping on any of the book titles will expand the results of each title. And remember that in the Bible, if you have more than 100 results, it divides the results by book of the Bible. So clicking on a title will expand just the results within that book of the Bible, or clicking on the expand icon here will expand all of the results within the Bible to their full text form. Tapping on another title will expand the list within this book. And tapping on any of those search results will open it in the book text. It's important to note, going back to the search here for a moment, that on a mobile device you don't have the ability to do a right click and get the options menu like you would on a computer. So I'll show you some options of how to work around that. Like I just showed you, just a single tap on the citation will open it in the book text. From here, you'll notice that the citation builder appears showing you what the citation is. And just a single tap on any word within a sentence will add that entire sentence to your citation. Notice that as I'm, as I'm selecting a sentence, my citation is changing and building the appropriate citation. Tapping again adds to the citation. Now, if I tap any word within a sentence that's already highlighted in green and part of my citation, it will remove it from my citation, and I can have a discontinuous citation. Notice how the citation has been rebuilt after every tap within my citation builder. I can erase my selection and clear it by clicking or tapping on the X in the, in the citation builder and we'll get myself another citation here. Now to add this citation to a list, all you'll need to do is tap on the citation builder anywhere in this green bar and you'll get a menu to copy to list. These are my three open lists or I can create a new list with this citation. I can also copy to clipboard which means I can copy and paste it to a text message social media, email, whatever you'd like, you can copy and paste it outside of the program into another program. So for example, I'm going to add this citation to my purity list, and it will automatically open in the list tab my previously created list called purity. From here, you notice that it adds it to the bottom of this list. I can drag and place it in the order in which I'd like it to appear by tapping and holding the nine dot icon on the left and dragging it to a new location within my list. Now something to note on the mobile 
is that you can't have start and stop directives within your citation. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I click on this citation, and I click on the full text of the citation in my list, it brings me back to my book. So what I couldn't have done is I couldn't have started at a word within the middle of the sentence, nor could I have stopped at a punctuation or a word within the middle of the sentence. That's what's called a start directive or a stop directive. So going back to my list, if I wanted to have a start and stop directive, for example, it's most common in a Bible citation, so let's open up this citation here. If I wanted to go, blessed are the pure in heart, to the colon, I couldn't do that right here on the mobile interface by just highlighting to the colon. I would have to go to my list and manually make that adjustment. So I can manually edit a citation by tapping on the pencil icon and enter my directive. And then I can tap save and it will save my change. Clicking on the citation expands the full text of that citation in my list, showing me the new citation as I've updated it. Now, you also have the ability to tap the three dot menu here on the right to edit the citation, which gives you the same ability as tapping the pencil icon would have. Tapping the X cancels that request. You can also view the citation in the book, move it to a different list, create a new list with that citation, copy that citation to a clipboard, duplicate it, or delete that citation from the list, which I've just done. As you'll notice, this citation is expanded in full text. If I want to bring it back to a citation-only readable format, all I need to do is tap that top part of the citation and it collapses it. On the contrary, if I want to expand all citations at once instead of having to click each one and scroll down, I have the ability to do that by tapping on the expand icon here in the top right. Clicking expand expands my entire list of citations to their full text form so I can read through them. And even in this mode, I can tap and hold the nine dot and rearrange the order of the citations as I'd like to in my list. Tapping the expand icon again will collapse the list back to citation format. There's a burger menu here in the top right, which gives me the ability to add a citation to the list, add a comment, rename the list, change the label of the list, or delete the list entirely. The two buttons along the bottom give me the, the ability to add a new citation manually, which I can do by typing it in here, and then tap the save disk. I can also add a new comment. Tap the save disk to add that comment, drag to rearrange the order if I like, Notice at the bottom also, it counts the number of citations that I have in my list, along with the total word count of all citations. Tapping on the back arrow here next to my list name will bring me back to my list menu where I can see all of the lists that I've created in my account. And tapping on any one of these will open up that list of citations. I can create a new list by tapping on the plus sign here in the top right corner. I can give it a name. I can give it a label if I'd like to, which I've created uh, in my account, or I can add a new label and create a new label for this list. Saving my list by tapping the Save Disk icon, and now I can create and work on this new list by going back to my search and adding citations. I can also go straight into the books if I'd like to, Clicking on the Books tab brings me up the table of contents of each book, and tapping on the title gives me the contents contained within the book, in which I can go straight to a certain area if I like, and begin reading in the book here. This opens the Read tab. From here I can just read the text if I like to, or create a citation. Tapping on the citations. To create, the to create the citation in the Citation Builder, tapping again to remove the selected citation, and adding it to any list that I would like to. Clicking on More gives me some options here of settings, font size, or report an issue to our customer service team.
So this is what you would see in your mobile experience on your smartphone.